Yo, what's up? Oh, shit. Okay, so we have all the ingredients. Um, yeah. All right, so we just came back from Walmart, and uh, I just prepared the things that we'll be using. So, one of the things, one of the things that I will be using is a pan this big. The next thing is a cutting board, aluminum foil, um, teaspoon, custard cup, serrated knife, and a kitchen knife. And we'll also be using whatever that thing is called, stove, and the oven. So, let's get started. First things first, since we're um, handling chicken, we should wash our hands and sanitize our tabletop, I mean countertop, so we don't get salmonella or anything, you know? So, chicken right here, um, what you're gonna do with the chicken is to cut it into thin slices, as you can see right here. And you have to cut it thinly, as thin as a slice of cheese. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be too uh, bulky or it wouldn't cook easily as it should. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this technique is called slicing into thin slices so we can cook them later. And then we season them with salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Now you really have to season them real hard, but in this case, my chicken was early, already seasoned because I made a mistake earlier. So what you should do is like, you have to season it real well, you know? Now you get an aluminum foil, then you spread the spread it out and then get those chickens and spread them you know really well as you can see right there just follow the technique you know that's called spreading the chicken that technique yeah it's called spreading the chicken so we can cook them later and after that take some ham and cheese swiss cheese and spread them out evenly so it will get Cooked evenly 
so it will taste good evenly and after that you just sprinkle some seasoning just for a taste and now you can see we're slowly you have to do it slowly and carefully rolling the chicken so that it wouldn't get messed up this technique is called rolling chicken all right now so I made this thingy right here so the chicken won't touch the water while it's getting cut and first thing you do is you put some water and then you steam it wait no you turn the thingy on high and wait for it to boil and make some steam and you put the chicken on top of it without touching the water and then once that's done you put a lid on it on top of the pan and let the steam cook the chicken this technique is called steaming now the steaming would take around 15 to 20 minutes long and you have to make sure you don't overcook or undercook it preheat the oven to 500 degrees and then put a pan inside after that take the chicken out of the steamer and then you start breading it Now, put the chicken inside the oven for 10, 5 to 10 minutes and wait for it to finish. That turned out quite okay, maybe. Um, you know, I could do better than that, but since I don't have much time, I can't show you guys. But uh, hopefully, you guys learn how to make the chicken cordon blue. And yeah, if you guys wanna maybe subscribe, that would help. <laughs> And I hope I get an A.